we've been saying for a long time now, Joel, haven't we, that Liverpool's midfield has looked light and that's probably what's cost them in terms of a title race in the last couple of years. Is this the sort of signing that Jurgen Klopp has needed to make for a while now? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I'm kind of puzzled that they've done a, what, 120 million outlay on midfielders and yet Jude Bellingham, who was their main target, still couldn't have been and gone after. I don't know if they've managed to find some funds from somewhere, but I still think that the way in which they've done it is probably the better choice. I do like Saboslai whenever I've seen him play, mainly for Hungary, to be honest. Whenever I've seen him in a major championship or qualify, he's always been the the standout player for the national side, even at such a young age as well. Um, even when you look at him in, in, in Leipzig, whenever he's played in the Champions League, he's always been one of the most standout players, similar to when I used to watch Sabitzer play for them. They always have like a very advanced uh, midfielder who is really good in terms of his output. And when you look at his statistics as well, you can see exactly why Klopp's got him. Not in terms of you know his goals and assists, although he does chip in every now and then. But I mean, when he looked at his sprints per game and his distance covered per game, he was in the absolute top percentile in Bundesliga. Um, and obviously everyone knows how Klopp and his team plays in terms of super high press, super energetic press. And when you saw last season, it seemed to really dwindle. And that's probably one of the main reasons why Liverpool suffered so much last year. Because that midfield of Henderson, Fabinho, Thiago... It just had no energy in it whatsoever. And now you can see having McAllister, a younger guy, Saboslai, I think it's I think it's a really shrewd and smart signing, to be honest. But, I mean, Liverpool's signings from Leipzig have been pretty hit and miss as well. You've had Konate, who's been a pretty big revelation. Then you had Naby Keita, who's just left on a free. So it could go one of two ways, really. But I do think with the character that he is at 22 and how many games he's played at 22... I do think it's a pretty shrewd signing, I would say. 